Hi, I'm Sean with JDS Industries. We're going to sublimate a foam cushion. And to do that, we're going to use a couple different uh, supplies, one of which is a repositionable spray. This is a, a light tack that we're going to spray onto the transfer. This is in place of heat tape. And in a few minutes, we'll, I'll explain why we use that in place of heat tape. Uh, the other thing, uh, we've printed our transfer. This is using sawgrass inks. We've got a lint roller. We'll remove uh, lint or any debris from the material before we sublimate, like so. And also, we're going to spray the transfer with the uh, with the repositionable spray. And we don't need a lot of this, just a little bit. So we'll do that now. And that just gives it a light tack so it doesn't shift while we're putting it into the heat press. Um, there is really is not a, uh, there's not an upside or a downside to this. You can uh, place it any which way you want on here. We're going to center it in the middle of the transfer. There's a bleed edge on this. This is a 13 by 19 size paper. We've got a bleed edge here. Okay, so now we're going to put a piece of uh, tape onto the transfer. So this is going to be just, just stuck to the paper itself and not the substrate. And this is what we're going to use as kind of a pull tab. And the, one of the biggest challenges with the foam cushions is that it, there's a lot of ghosting that can occur in the press. When this is heated, it's going to want to move and shift as the, when the pressure is released. So as it's released, we don't want that transfer to stay in one spot and the cushion moving. That's going to give us a double image. So we're going to use a technique to remove this transfer right as the pressure is released from the press. Okay, we're going to put this in the press at 390 degrees for about a minute to minute and 15 seconds uh, with medium to heavy pressure. Center this onto your heat press. Make sure you have enough tape here to be able to hold and grab that transfer as the pressure is released. We'll cover with a Teflon sheet. So the technique for uh, avoiding ghosting is to remove the transfer as soon as there's enough release of the pressure. So I'm going to grab a hold of the little tab that I created and release the pressure and take out the transfer. The Teflon sheet might come with it and that's okay. Now this is going to, you can see that the full coverage has covered all the edges. This is going to retain its shape as soon as it cools down. This has been Sean with JDS Industries. For more information about sublimation, please visit our website, jdsindustries.com sublimation.